Welcome to the Harry L. Vance Athletic Center and Davidson College for the Atlantic 10 Women's Basketball Preview. I'm joined by Davidson Women's Basketball Head Coach Gail Folks. Coach, coming off a 16 and 15 season, second time in a row this team is on the rise above 500. What can this team look for in this upcoming season? It's a little bit different than what we've seen any other time we've been together, uh, but what can you expect from this team? You know, Derek, I think uh, this is just going to be a year that we have to be really flexible and adaptable. You know, on any given time, um, it could be having to play a different lineup or having to work through different things, whether it's injuries or now COVID. Um, so we learned a lot from last year, having to be adaptable with Sarah Donovan kind of going down before conference play. But looking ahead this year, you know, I'm really happy with our group. We've got so much experience to really build on and, and looking forward to take that next step. Looking around this facility, newly renovated, I, I walked in and I was like, wow, they've done some great work in here. Talk about the advantage of having a facility like this for this basketball program. You know, I think we've really seen in our player development having a gym exclusively for women's basketball. You know, our players can get in here and, and shoot anytime they want, work on their game, um, get with a coach in our film room, watch film. Um, so having these facilities is a huge advantage for us. And now with the branding, you know, it's something that our players can visually see our values, visually see our objectives every day. and and really the style we want to play. Um, it's just, it, it's a big time thing for us to have this facility. You got some great veteran leadership and Katie Turner and Cassidy Gould, who we'll talk with later, uh, but who else can you expect things from? What kind of leadership are you looking to uh, from the rest of your core players? Well, we've got nine upperclassmen, you know, six seniors and three juniors. And I really expect all nine of them um, to be able to bring leadership to this group um, and, and show kind of the underclassmen the way, but also be great problem solvers on the court. They know the conference. They know the expectations of the program. And just bringing that daily experience and, and sharing it with their teammates is something we're really looking forward to this year. Great. And Coach, last question. What else should these the fans know about this year's team? You know, I think you're going to see a group that's very confident, um, a group that really believes in each other and trusts one another. And um, I'm really excited to get going with this group. Thanks for the time, Coach. Up next, we'll have Davidson senior guard Katie Turner. We're joined by Davidson senior guard Katie Turner from Reno, Nevada, a two-time Atlantic 10 all-conference performer. She also became the 21st Wildcat to score 1,000 points last season. Katie, we've had some unusual circumstances leading up to this preseason. Talk about that and how this has been as far as getting the team ready for this upcoming season in these unique circumstances. Well, I've been really proud of how the teams come together and practice during these crazy times. I mean, obviously workouts and things have looked a bit different and we've had to really adjust and the coaching staff has done a phenomenal job of accounting for um, COVID and the certain guidelines and restrictions placed upon us. But like I said, I've just been so proud of everybody. The atmosphere really hasn't changed. You know, we, we've come together more than ever and uh, we're feeding off of each other our energy every single day in practice and lift. And it's just been fantastic. Over the last three years, you guys have really become a team that's been on the rise in the Atlantic 10, a team that can be looked to for competitiveness in the Atlantic 10 tournament. What does this team need to do this season to take that next step and make it to the semifinals or the championship game or the NCAA tournament? Mm -hmm. I would say staying consistent and also being able to make adjustments. So staying consistent in terms of as the season goes on, you know, our bodies start to hurt, things start to pile on, and just being able to bring that consistent energy, um, consistent work ethic every single day, no matter what's going on in our, in our outside lives, um, and then being able to make adjustments. Like you said, you know, we've become a real contender in the A-10 conference, and teams are really going to be be targeting us. We have a target on our backs. And so being able to adjust to how teams play us throughout games and throughout the season. What are some of the things that you know, maybe are your biggest goals for this season coming up in your final season as a Wildcat? First and foremost, and I, I know I've said this every year, but winning. I mean, this is my last chance to lead these guys and I want to go out with a bang and I want to bring a championship and be able to make it to the NCAA tournament for Davidson for the program, for the community. That is the A number one goal. And whatever I can do to lead them um, as a senior veteran now, which is crazy, and uh, you know, just as the point guard, uh, that's what I want. Okay, so I got some, some quick not on the court questions. What is your favorite gym to play in on the road? Ooh. Um, I really like George Washington, and I've only played there once. So I think, I'm not sure with COVID, COVID, but be able to go back there again this year. I really like the atmosphere there. 
other than Lux the Wildcat, who's obviously your favorite, who is your second favorite Atlantic 10 mascot? Not Richmond. <laughs> I can say that. <laughs> Having a spider, a giant tarantula next to the ball rack is not my favorite. Probably, probably the Rams, VCU Rams. I think that's a pretty cool, fierce mascot. Okay, and, and finally, which A-10 opponent has the best places to eat at? I'd have to maybe say Fordham because just sort of heart of New York in a lot of ways, you just have a lot of options. New York pizza, you know, that whole fun thing. We obviously went to Times Square last year, which we'll be able to do this year, but I have to give it to Fordham. All right, thanks for your time, Katie. Good luck this season. Next up, we'll have Davidson Jr., Cassidy Gould. We're now joined by Davidson Jr. guard Cassidy Gould from Melbourne, Australia. And uh, Cassidy, quite a different uh, set of circumstances that we get underway for this 2021 season. You guys have been working hard this preseason, really finding your rhythm on the floor. What's something or someone that has surprised you early on in this basketball season? Um, yeah, it has definitely been a different start to this season. Um, I think something that surprised me is how well everyone's kind of come back onto the court. Um, how much they've improved both physically and mentally over the course of that long break. It was kind of um, unanticipated, but yeah, people really put in the time and effort to stay committed to the program. And it's really nice to see everyone come back together and like bring all their new strengths and that kind of thing. Um, I guess someone that's really impressed me has been Peyton Carter. She's come back, um, yeah, just ready to go, like leaving nothing out there. She's just, um, yeah, really improved all parts of her game and like, we are going to have to be a pretty versatile team this year, given the circumstances. But um, yeah, she's just been ready, come out, um, ready to play. And yeah, we've all just been super impressed by her and getting around her. So I think she's definitely one to watch for the rest of the season. With a schedule that's going to look unlike we've ever seen before, with lots of focus even more on conference play, what are some matchups you've got highlighted on your calendar? That maybe you want to make sure you get a win or you're going to be really ramped up for. And why might that opponent be on that list? Um, I think if you ask that question to my whole team, they would probably say Fordham, just because we've always had a um, rivalry with them. So that's always a game we look forward to. Um, for me personally, um, I love playing St. Louis. I think every time we've played them, at least in my career, um, it's been such a hard fought win. They're s such a professional and I really admire the sportsmanship of their team. So playing against them, I think, um, yeah, has just been a really good game and I really look forward to that. Um, other than that, probably Dayton as well. That's another one we always look forward to on our calendar. We haven't, um, well in my career, we haven't beat them. So I think that's definitely one that they've always been such a, um, yeah, such a, in a high, in such a high position in our league and have always been around the top and to get a win against them would be, um, yeah, amazing. All right, now I got some quick, uh, maybe not on the court questions for you. Uh, which teammate is the best travel buddy and why? Oh. That's a good question. Um, I'd probably just say Peyton because we sit together on the bus and so we're always um, getting our work done, but also having some fun back there and she's pretty good to room with too. So first one that comes to my head, yeah. Okay, now how, how about who's the best karaoke singer on the team? Oh, the best, like best singer is probably SK on our team. Um, so Sarah Constant. All right, who is your funniest teammate? Mm. Rosie Deegan would definitely want me to say her, but I think Kelly Fitzgerald is um, pretty funny. Her and Alana are a pretty good duo together, so yeah. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Well, Cass, thanks for your time this, today. Uh, thank you for checking in for the Atlantic 10 Women's Basketball Preview for Davidson. Make sure to check us out on DavidsonWildcats.com and be sure to tune in November 25th when the season will be getting underway. Go Wildcats!